being with us this morning. And now to continue our conversation, Washington Congressman Adam Smith, who is the top Democrat on the House Armed Services Committee. Congressman, it's a pleasure always to speak with you. You were among the first lawmakers to call the president to step aside. What specifically do you think merits the president of the United States of America, who received 14 million votes in the primaries, won nearly 3,900 delegates, not to run for re-election now? Two things. One, what became clear in that debate and what we were worried about even before the debate and what has been even further clarified since the debate, the president is not capable of delivering the message in an effective way. And I, you know, I don't, I don't see how anyone could debate that. There have been countless examples even since the debate that makes it clear that the president is struggling to run a schedule and be able to do interviews and give speeches and really prosecute the case against Donald Trump. If you watch that debate and you're a Democrat or you're just somebody who thinks Donald Trump doesn't belong back in the White House, you watch that debate and the guy on the stage, Joe Biden, he was your champion. He was the guy who was going to stand up to Donald Trump and stand up for the agenda that we want. And he could not do it. And it wasn't that difficult. Trump was lying constantly, leaving incredible openings that any average mediocre debater could have could have stepped in and used. The president couldn't do it. And since then, he has still struggled to do that. So that's number one. It is clear at this point that he cannot deliver that message. After that rambling, insane speech that Donald Trump gave last night, my goodness, if we just get a candidate who can stand up and deliver our message, we win. And number two, the questions about the president's health continue. I mean, you've seen the White House press briefing since that debate. That dominates the discussion. The White House has not been completely transparent about that situation. Those are all distractions from what this election should be about. It should be about the danger of Donald Trump and the promise of our political agenda on the Democratic side. As your reporter, as Ali mentioned just a moment ago, you know, Joe Biden's done a great job as president. I want to deliver that message. I want someone at the top of the ticket who's going to deliver that message. And what we have learned is the president can't. As far as all those people who voted for him, you know, as I say, go back, play that debate right before any of those 14 million people vote. And do you think they'd vote differently? I do. Circumstances have changed since those elections happened. Democratic Party has a process. We have delegates. We can nominate our candidate that we want. It doesn't have to be any one person. And I, I just implore our party to see this. And one final point, you give me a lot of time here, I respect that. If we are at this point in the campaign and the president is struggling to maintain Democrats on his side, if their argument is, well, we think we can get a majority of Democrats to be with us. At this point in the campaign, that answers the question. It is just not a viable campaign anymore and we have better options. We need to take them. Uh, Congressman, you, uh, among the things that you, you mentioned, you, you say that the White House has not been transparent. Uh, what is it about the president that you think the White House has not been transparent about? And I mean, the sure, president well, is a public figure. You, we've seen I, him for th three and, me, and a half right? years. It's not like, you know, uh, so what is it about the White House you that question. you think has not been transparent? He had a physical apparently in February, okay? After that debate performance, people were genuinely concerned about his health. What needed to happen at that point, they needed to say, okay, we're going to come in, we're going to do a full, honest health assessment, and we're going to release it to the public, and we're going to let you know. Now, and I understand every candidate can do that. Frankly, I'd like to see the same thing done for Donald Trump. Let's be perfectly honest about that. After that performance last night, I think that is a worthy concern and a worthy thing to be done. But if you were going to try to reassure voters across this country after that debate performance, that's what you should have done. And they didn't do it. OK, they have not given that independent health assessment. And those questions continue to be dogged. And again, and everyone's like, well, if we just stopped bringing it up, if Democrats stopped talking about it, everything would be fine. Come on. After that debate performance, after you know the presentation since then, the country's bringing it up. My constituents are bringing it up. This notion that somehow it's just elite Democrats, it's the grassroots. People calling me, texting me, emailing me. This election is too important. We need to have a strong person out there who can deliver our message, because again, our message is really good. We should win this election. Let's put somebody up there who's going to deliver that message strongly so that we can win this election.
Congressman, you, you said that the, the president struggles to even run a schedule. If he struggles to even have a schedule, do you think that he should be president right now? I mean, according he to you, is he fit to, to run lead? a campaign schedule? Okay, he struggles to run. Look, campaigns are hard. I've seen people run for president. I remember Bill Clinton at the end of the 92 campaign, or 96, I can't remember which one. His voice was gone. I mean, he, they flew him around, so he got struggled because he'd been on the road. He'd been given speech after speech, interview after interview all across the country. Look, and I, I've said this before, and I'll say it again. I think Joe Biden is perfectly capable of being president. Running a campaign in this environment is a whole different thing, okay? It is incredibly demanding in this environment, and that is my point. You know, I mean, you just, you're out there giving speech after speech, flying all across the country. You know, I mean, to deliver that message, that, that, is, that is a higher level um, than doing the job as president. And again, I will emphasize, Joe Biden has served this country incredibly well in multiple positions, and in particular as president. He's been a great president, and I'm happy to support that. I want his message to get delivered, and we need a different person to deliver it. That's, that's my only Congress point. Congressman Adam Smith, thank you very much for your time. Very much thank appreciate you.